The inspector general system that we know today was born of the Watergate scandal. One year of Watergate is enough. The inspector general system was introduced as a way to assure the public of objective, nonpartisan investigation to fight waste, fraud, and abuse in the federal bureaucracy. We are reforming the civil service system. Inspectors general occupy this unusual place. Each one of these agencies and departments now has an inspector general, um, an independent auditor, whose office is housed in the headquarters of those departments or agencies, who has statutory obligations to report to Congress and the public. One inspector general told me when I'd go for lunch, I could clear out the cafeteria. In recent weeks, we have seen a record number of, uh, of IGs lose their job. Five of them just in the last six weeks alone. Did I hear the word Inspector General? Really? After the impeachment, the president made his first move announcing his intention to replace the Inspector General of the intelligence agencies. And that Inspector General uh, was the guy who was responsible for first hearing the complaints of the whistleblower who reported allegedly improper activities related to Ukraine. He next turned his ire on the acting inspector general at the Department of Health and Human Services. She did a survey of major hospitals and discovered there were indeed shortages of critically needed equipment. The president was asked about this inspector general's report at one of the evening White House uh, daily press conferences uh, um, discussing the virus, and he snapped at the report. Well, where did he come from, the inspector general? What's his name? Uh, it wasn't a him, it was a her, Christy Grimm. But not long after that exchange, there was an announcement that there would be a new chief at uh, Health and Human Services. The president looked next to make a change at the uh, Defense Department. He would continue to work at the Defense Department, but the change in status made him ineligible for the job that had already been announced for him, that he would chair uh, a new um, committee of inspectors general who would review and basically audit the expenditure of $2.2 trillion um, approved by Congress to help the nation recover from the um, COVID-19 pandemic. From there, in short order, there were two others who were removed from their positions. One is um, the uh, Inspector General at the State Department, Steve Linick. Um, Linick, it turns out, had been asked to investigate some of the activities of the Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, and Pompeo had complained about Linick to uh, the president. The president says, you're fired. Because I've seen the various stories that Someone was walking my dog to sell arms to my dry cleaner. I mean, I mean, it's all just crazy. At the same time on that Friday night, the acting inspector general of the transportation department is um, removed from his top post. The attack on the inspectors general echoes what we've heard really since inauguration day, but particularly since the impeachment hearing started. Um, this uh, president has directed um, his staff and executive branch employees generally not to cooperate with congressional investigators. He doesn't see congressional investigations, particularly those coming from the House, as legitimate, and it now seems that he views critics in the inspectors general right as illegitimate if they criticize him.